Hi guys, Ange here and thank you so much for joining my channel today. Today's video is a little bit different. In my video earlier in the year with my goals and dreams for 2018, one of my goals was to become a bit more healthier, uh, I wanted to lose some weight and my well-being was a true focus on what I wanted out of this year, among other things, but that was the clear goal for the year. I recently started a new, I wouldn't call it a diet plan, this is an amazing experience that I'm going through, I didn't think so in the first 10 days, I thought I was going to die. But I signed up for an online course with the wonderful Dr Libby who is well known in the Australasia area of New Zealand and Australia. I have several of her books. What started me on this journey was the first book that I purchased from her and that was The Woman's Wellness Wisdom. And it was a very thought-provoking book that I read one Christmas and I wanted to look further into her concept of eating and it's all about eating whole real foods for the nourishment of your body and reading a book is one thing but putting it into action for me was quite difficult. I then came back and purchased the two cookbooks she put out which really helps along those guidelines and recipes and everything of that are using whole wheel foods. Then her latest book that came out, What I Am Supposed to Eat, I got that and would you believe I haven't even read it. So that's how bad I was. I still will get round to it. I've been to one of her seminars that was in Christchurch here and then I picked up the book Rushing Woman's Syndrome. I've also got the book Beauty from the Inside Out which is how you can nourish your skin and everything from the the wonderful real whole foods that you eat but I have got that elsewhere in the house because I am reading it. Well I signed up for her own online diet course and it is a nine week course that um, is available over a 12 week period so that you can catch up and re recap some of the items that come up. I signed up for it, it was 300 New Zealand dollars and it was a big decision to do because I'd done lots of diets in the past and I've signed up for lots of things and they haven't been successful. So I signed up to it not knowing a heck of a lot about it apart from reading the reviews from people who had wonderful things to say about the course. It just said how that they loved the course, how they learnt so much, etc, etc. So I didn't really know what I was getting into. So I signed up for it anyway, and then the course started. Well, the first 10 days, all I can say, they were hell for me. I really, really struggled. You have to, only for the course, because it's up to, um, the whole idea of this course is to eating, real whole foods and eliminating these things from your diet so that you can see how your body feels and it's only for the nine weeks that we are asked to eliminate these things from our diet and then we can introduce them back and if we feel if we feel that um we can and that we're going to be nourished from these things. Now the things we had to give up were dairy, gluten, caffeine and alcohol. The alcohol one was going to be, you know, because I like having a wine on the weekend, I'm a wine girl, but it's been no problem giving that away. I thought caffeine was going to be a breeze because I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee, it gives me a headache, so I don't drink it. But I do have, th I was having three cups of black tea a day, one in the morning, one at morning tea, and one in, in the evening while I was doing whatever, reading a book or editing and things like that. So I was having three cups of black tea a day. Dairy wasn't a problem because I don't eat yogurt. I did have milk in my tea, but I didn't mind giving that up. Uh, the only thing out of dairy that was really going to bug me was cheeses. 
I love my camembert and I love my blue cheese and things like that, especially when I'm making special meals. And gluten. Gluten was going to kill me. Gluten, I live on bread. I, I feel like saying I was weaned on bread as a kid, you know, we weren't well off and uh, bread was a cheap source of food to bulk up any meal that my mum had to put together and so bread was quite a staple in our household as fruit wasn't because fruit was really really expensive so bread became quite an integral part of me growing up and my meals and even you know now I would have bread in the morning, I'd have bread at lunchtime, I always had some form of roll or bread with dinner as well. So that was going to absolutely kill me. I love the smell of fresh bread, just love it. So giving that away. Right, first week. Four days, I probably got to, I started on the Monday, got to Wednesday, had a headache. Okay, got to Thursday, had a migraine. Got to Friday, had a worse migraine to the point where I came home and said to my husband, Oh my god, I feel absolutely horrid. And he said, Go and have a lie down. Now, for people who know me, I don't do that. I'm not a person who has a nap during the day. It's just, I, I can't. I, 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 it's a mind thing. I just can't do it. Well, I just said to him, Actually, I've got a better idea. We jumped in the shower. By 4 30, I was in bed and I slept in right through till 7.30 the next morning. I was absolutely whacked. Thing kept going and I felt horrid, I felt awful. It was like, oh my God, here I am trying to be healthy and I feel like absolute crap. What am I doing to myself? So anyway, they've got a really good, um, really good resourcing and backup on this course. And so I typed in the forum and said how horrid I was feeling. And here I am thinking, I don't drink coffee, I'm fine, you know. But it was a reaction <laughs> to having no caffeine in my diet that I was feeling, feeling so horrible with all these headaches and everything else. So I thought it was the bread, but um, when we got into the symptoms and everything, it was more me withdrawing from the caffeine. And I didn't think caffeine was a problem, but obviously it was. Then I got to the following Monday and I thought I'd absolutely done something awful to my back. I couldn't move, I couldn't touch my toes. I had been having trouble with my back. And uh, so I went to the physio who does kinesiology and things like that. But she thought more it was my liver and kidneys or liver playing up. And it was all the detoxification from my body eliminating the toxins and trying to get rid of them all that I really felt horrid and had pain in my whole lower back area. So um, she gave me some homeopathic blood cleansing tablets that um, I put under my tongue and things like that and I did feel a lot better. I was really worried because we were flying to Hawaii in a few days and I thought there is no way I can sit on a plane when I'm feeling in this much pain but by the time we went away everything had cleared up and I was feeling fine. Then on holiday I sort of had a couple of, I, I stuck to the diet as much as I could. Um, we had one night where we went to the Cheesecake Factory and there was no way I was giving up on what was on for offer. I definitely had cheesecake. It took me two days to get through my piece of cheesecake. We did it as takeaway. But about three days later, I had that pain in my back again. And I think it was because I'd backslid and had, I had wine that night as well. So this time the pain was really excruciating. So my husband took me to Long's Drugs while we were away. And I got some liver cleansing um, organic tablets while we were there. And later that night I was feeling a heck of a lot better. I have to say it made me stay in check with my diet for the rest of the holiday and as of today and it's day 26 of the diet bearing in mind that I've been away for 10 of those I'm feeling so much better um, it was hard in that first two weeks I was thinking what on earth had I done but because I paid my money I was going to see the course through but I have to say I am really 
feeling quite good at the moment. Now we're not allowed to weigh ourselves, we don't count calories, it's all based on good quality foods, no processed foods, no refined sugars, so your refined sugars are in all your processed foods, so if you eliminate processed foods, you eliminate your, fry, your refined sugars anyway. I'm feeling so much better, I haven't done everything that is expect, you know that is recommended in the in this course like I'm not having my apple cider vinegar every day but I'm finding that with my food choices everything's working how it should be anyway so I thought I'd get on here at the start to say how I'm feeling as I said we're not allowed to weigh ourselves but I was naughty today and jumped on the scales and I was really really pleasantly surprised I've lost four kilos so shocked me um I love the fact that this is, the course that I'm doing is not about a diet that is why there was no mention of food plans um how much all the rest of it it was just that you can't eat this rubbish but you can eat all this amazing good stuff and don't count calories don't worry what you're eating and as we go along you are supposed to get into tune with what you need and what you don't need so I thought I'd do this video now I'll do another video when we're a little bit more into it and then I will do another check-in at the end of the course and it is 63 days that we are on this. What I love about this course is that every day we get emailed, um, you go through each day, there is a video every day, um, I think maybe once every 10 days there isn't a video, there's just the resources, but we get a video from Dr Libby and it's anything from 10 minutes to 25 minutes and it's all information about how our bodies work, what you know lots of different things and you also get a lot of resources there are a lot of recipes and so I'm starting a big folder up so that I can go back to it time and time again because the online course is only available for the duration of 12 weeks so I'm printing off all my resources so that I can reflect on things later as well and just try and keep this going because I'm actually so far really pleased with how it's going. I um, definitely couldn't have given you a positive report in the first 10 days, <laughs> but uh, now that we're 25-ish days into it, I am feeling a lot better. So, thanks for letting me share that, guys. I can highly recommend this course. I'm going to leave a link to it down below because it's available worldwide. Dr. Libby is an amazing um, biochemist with a PhD and she's been in the industry for 25 plus years. Um, highly acclaimed, she has a huge following here in New Zealand. So I will leave a link down below also to her Facebook page and her website. And you can do a little bit of um, research on her as well if you like. I really love what she has to say. Everything makes so much sense. So um, I'll leave all those links down below and a link also to this course. It's closed now but you can go on a waiting list to do it in the future and I seriously if you are a person that is worried about where your health is taking you could highly highly recommend it. I come from a family history that is uh, very at high risk of cancer and as I said earlier on in the year, no it was last year, uh, last year around my birthday I had a terrible breast cancer scare and had breast surgery and I obviously do have the gene for um, breast cancer or those cells wouldn't have started um, turning into cancer cells so I am very aware that I have to take care of my health if I want to have a long and um, able life. So thanks very much for joining me. If you enjoyed that guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback on that or have any questions, please leave a comment uh, down below. I'd love to hear from you. As I said, I can highly, highly recommend this course. 
If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. I upload two videos a week. They're mainly beauty, skincare related, but I put the odd video such as this in as well and um, some of our travels and things like that as well. So if you're interested in seeing more videos from me, please subscribe. I'd truly appreciate it and I'd love to see you back. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day, guys, and a healthy day. Take care and I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.